From ABC News, this is ABC World News Tonight. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us on a Wednesday night. And we begin with the bombshell announcement from Fox News that their biggest star is out amid growing reports of sexual harassment that sparked an advertiser revolt. Bill O'Reilly, the anchor of Cable Network's most popular show, will not be returning after a two-decade run. The announcement coming with O'Reilly in a planned vacation. He was seen today shaking hands with the Pope at the Vatican. And just a short time ago, we heard from Bill O'Reilly himself. ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, is leading us off tonight. Caution, you are about to enter the no spin zone. No spinning it tonight. The king of cable news dethroned. Bill O'Reilly, the host of cable's most popular show for 16 years, out at Fox News in the wake of that growing sexual harassment scandal. Lachlan and James Murdoch, executives at Fox's parent company, reportedly pushed for O'Reilly's ouster. Their father, Rupert Murdoch, ultimately signing off amid a growing scandal. 21st Century Fox announcing that after a thorough and careful review of the allegations, the company and Bill O'Reilly have agreed that Bill O'Reilly will not be returning to the Fox News channel. Bill O'Reilly also releasing his own statement. It is tremendously disheartening that we part ways due to completely unfounded claims, but that is the unfortunate reality many of us in the public eye must live with today. O'Reilly's statement comes after those new images tonight, showing him on vacation shaking hands with the Pope at the Vatican today. Back in New York, Fox executives clearly were not forgiving. New accusers coming forward, including this African-American Fox employee. Her attorney says this picture shows her calling the company's anonymous tip line, alleging O'Reilly would leer and grunt at her, calling her hot chocolate. One of the few who has publicly defended O'Reilly when the scandal broke, President Trump, telling the New York Times. I think he's a, a person I know well. He's yeah. a good person. Personally, mm -hmm. I think he shouldn't have settled. Trump, reportedly a friend of O'Reilly's for years and a frequent guest on his show. After the release of that infamous Access Hollywood video. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to play too much of it because it's crude guy talk. Then candidate Trump also defended former Fox CEO Roger Ailes before he was forced out last summer after his own harassment scandal with multiple accusers coming forward. And tonight, after 20 years, a stunning fall for the Fox host. One of O'Reilly's accusers, radio host Wendy Walsh, saying she doesn't want money. We know this is the tip of the iceberg. Rebecca, thank you. We do move on now to new reporting tonight after a former Patriot star was discovered dead in his cell. Authorities say it was a suicide. Tonight, what was discovered written on Aaron Hernandez's head when he was found in his cell. ABC's Eva Pilgrim outside the prison in Shirley, Massachusetts tonight. Tonight, questions surrounding the death of former NFL star Aaron Hernandez, his body now with the state medical examiner. ABC News learning he was found in his cell with John 316 across his forehead, a Bible verse referencing death and eternal life. Prison officials have called his death a suicide, saying he hanged himself with a bedsheet tied to his prison cell window. Miami Dolphins Mike Pouncey posting, Today my heart hurts as I got the worst news I could have imagined. It was just a day ago we shared our last convo. But tonight, some of those close to him suspect foul play. Something's not right. Something doesn't add up. Not guilty. Pointing out 27-year-old Hernandez was just acquitted five days ago in a 2012 double murder, emotional in court, blowing kisses to his daughter. Guilty of murder in the first degree and appealing that life sentence for another murder, a stunning fall from grace for the former tight end for the Patriots, once with a $40 million contract, cut by the team after being led from his house in handcuffs, arrested for the 2013 murder of his friend, Odin Lloyd. His lawyer saying there were no conversations or correspondence from Aaron that would have indicated anything like this was possible. Aaron was looking forward to an opportunity for a second chance to prove his innocence. Many Patriots who played celebrate. alongside Hernandez visited the White House to celebrate their Super Bowl victory, his cousin remembering those better days. He was the first one to make it. And um, from our side of the family, he was the first one. We are told he was not on suicide watch. David? Eva, thank you. Next tonight to new questions after President Trump said a very powerful armada is on its way to Korea. Was the ship really headed towards the Korean Peninsula at the time, or was it headed someplace else? 
and the headlines overseas asking, was the White House lying? We learn tonight that, in fact, at the time, those ships were headed in the other direction. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. The USS Carl Vincent strike group is finally on its way toward the Korean Peninsula today. But the Trump administration is now under fire for providing misleading information about the carrier's movement for over a week. Trump's lies on the Carl Vincent, declared a leading South Korean newspaper today. It still insisted it did not mislead anybody last week. Well, the president said we have an armada going towards the peninsula. That's a fact. It happened. It is happening, rather. John, thank you. There is still much more ahead on World News tonight this Wednesday. The firebomb attack. Authorities hunting for suspects caught on camera using Molotov cocktails on a home and a car. Residents inside. Four minutes of horror, disturbing new details in the hate crime shooting spree, who the gunman targeted and who he spared. And the discovery in space, scientists saying there could be life out there after all.